Once again, we are at the Squared Circle with Lisa Marie Barrett and Laura Greenwald, who some may know as Molly Holly. Two-time women's champion right here in the Squared Circle, <laughs> where it's at. <laughs> Now, we were just watching a little video from, uh, I believe it was WrestleMania 20 in 2004, where somebody had her head shaved. Yes, tonight I came back for revenge. Revenge? Oh, wow. <laughs> you left the knife at the table, though. So you're in Minnesota. Yes. And they obviously don't have hamburgers and pizza there, which I, is why you're here, right? Yes, I, I came the 300 and some miles just to, to have the best pizza. I actually, tonight I'm ordering the uh, Lisa Marie. The, which is? It's all meat on there, because Lisa Marie <laughs> likes her meat. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I, 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 I'll, leave, hey guys. I'll leave it at that and, you know. <laughs> No, I don't want to get it, I don't want to get in trouble with your husband or yes, anything. Exactly, exactly. What, or me. What or you. I'm not worried about you. <laughs> Lee, I'm a, you know, he's a, he's the chef. You never know what he's putting in that uh... Yeah, exactly. So, you retired from wrestling? Yes. Miss it? No. Not a bit. I don't. I know that people wish, I mean, uh, you people know, want me to say, yes, no, I really oh. miss having the fans, and then, you know, no, I don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> I just don't. I love the simple life. I love being in my own bed every night and just um, being well rested. I like that I can wake up in the morning and I can turn my head to the left and to the right. <laughs> it's like, it's great. So Without hearing any noises or anything? Right. <laughs> without wondering, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. can the chiropractor see me today? <laughs> you, you, you are young enough to make a comeback, you know. Uh, thanks, but, um, well, if the price is right, that's it. Never, no, 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 you know, never, say no, never. never say never. Well, the wrestlers never say never. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're in Minnesota? Yes. Where you? That's where you're originally from. Yes. Although your journey took you to Florida. Yeah, I've been. I've lived south of the Mason-Dixon here and there, but um, uh, all over my, the world. My home is Minnesota. And and you like that? Um, it's been a really rough year there. We had blizzards in May. Um, no kidding. I had to. Yeah. Anyway, it's been a rough year, but you know my family's there, and um, I don't know. It could be worse. It always could be worse. <laughs> Still doing teen counseling? Yes, I work at Minnesota. They changed the name to Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge. Um, okay. But yes, I still work at Teen Challenge. And, and how did you get into that line of work? Um, I heard an advertisement on the radio for there was like a testimonial about Teen Challenge, and I felt moved and I wanted to be a part of it. So I started out as a volunteer, and now I've been there about seven years now. Okay. Not Time bad. flies, huh? No kidding. My God. That's crazy. So when you were wrestling, was it more fun in your WWE days when this young lady was Victoria? Was it more fun wrestling against her or as her partner? I liked wrestling against her because look how strong. She's so strong. Strong that like I bull. Knew <laughs> that I knew that I was going to be safe. That she wasn't going to drop me. That she was you know, like, that. anyway, it was just, um, I felt like... I was going to be working with somebody who knew what they were doing, who could entertain the fans. Plus, the fans went crazy for her, so I knew people weren't going to go get popcorn. They were like, oh, Victoria's on, and they'd like run to their seats, and they'd be ready to cheer or boo or whatever, you know. And so, it's always fun to work against someone who the fans are really passionate about. Also, like, interesting fact is uh, Molly Holly gave me my finisher, the Widow's Peak. Um, she saw a gentleman, Roderick Strong. Well, who will be here in July, um, do the move, and she said, I, I, you came back and said, Lisa, I know you can do this move, there's a move I can, you're, I was a big girl that can pick up everybody, and I did it to her, and uh, do you remember doing it in the ring, yeah. that Vince McMahon seeing it? Yeah, Vince McMahon, I was like, oh, is that, that hurt, you know, is that going to be dangerous, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and we're like, oh, it's great, it's great, I mean, yeah, it'll knock you out long enough for a three count, whatever. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, That's all you okay. need? Yeah, so her, she gave me a move that put me on the map, you know. It's and, and you stayed there. Now I'm going to put you on the spot here. In this restaurant, the Squared Circle, you have memorabilia from all sorts of wrestlers. Do we have any Molly Holly? Absolutely. It's right by the bar. You can take a picture of that. Um, it's her outfit from when I shaved her head at WrestleMania yep. 20. Yep. And she was so kind to give me the actual. That's, that's very like, it's very 
very sentimental when you okay. give something like that. I mean, because some things like you want to keep for when you get older. And she did say, you know, when you're done with it, I want it back. And I go, wait, this restaurant is going to be forever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't plan on it to In go about out 75 of it. years. Yes, exactly. It's all yours. Yeah, I was planning on being buried in it, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, okay, and we'll make that way, way, way long, more than 75 years yeah. then. <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.